be fair, is it, can you really be that edgy when you're just a naked lizard with purple lips? No, sure. not really. Okay. Number six. And named after an it a appliance. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Called my aching back. Hold that thought. It's gonna be interesting if this pops up on the mic. <sighs> It, it didn't. No, okay. we just heard you grunt. Be, be glad you couldn't see me do that. That tends to horrify people. Eh, I've heard it at times in call. I don't mm -hmm. know if that picked up on Discord, but it picked up on my mic. I just cracked all my knuckles. Huh. That picked that. up. Olberic was moving very gingerly from carrying this team through every boss battle in this game. <laughs> That's not fair. Han had also carried the team. <laughs> yep. Counterpoint, 50,000 damage per attack. One boss didn't even get to have his turn. <laughs> Lucia did not make it to phase two. Nope. Alfin is also a chiropractor. Oh God! Which means he must die now. Yeah. Which means he's which means he's a fake doctor. Got it. Exactly. We we actually. I know I've brought this up somewhere. Um. I think it was in one of our LPs, but uh, mm. in my medical nutrition therapy class, or. Uh, professor was talking about how even though it's supposed to be the medical team there are some like jurisdictional friction issues with different members of the medical team so like Reddit, like the nutrition department and nurses will bump heads over who can do what and y y like you see all sorts of things like that the main thing we learn from that and I I already knew about this a little bit because my mom's a physical therapist Absolutely everybody in medicine hates chiropractors with a passion. <laughs> Cracking your back does not magically cure that virus. Nope. nope. It's or like shingles. That one... mm. Yeah, it was like that one joke from Eddie Azar in the past. Oh, you, you got diphtheria, I'm gonna crack your bones. Your heads come off, I'm gonna crack your bones. <laughs> This one's going to involve drinking, I think. Me. Oh boy. Potent potables. Oh my god, we're playing Celebrity Jeopardy. They have that in regular Jeopardy. People still watch Jeopardy? <clears throat> no. But I remember it. It was actually on at the Mule the last time I went. Huh. Where I had that really weird holiday cider. Oh, oh, is Pyro's gonna drink him under the table? <laughs> yes. Please tell me she is. Boys, please. I've been drinking for years. I was drunk on revenge. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Time to steal their wallet. <laughs> she absolutely uh, drank them under the table. Yep. Also, she's probably like, hmm, this is my chance to pet Therian's tail. <laughs> banter, banter, banter. <laughs> to air is human. Uh, oh. uh, I, I have a bad feeling about where this one's going to go. Writing letters. But there's no primrose here, so the story can't be that sad. Where's that raunchy? Now, Alfin, are you going to fail at writing love letters? He's going to create a centerfold. 
My blood runs cold. My memory has just been soiled. When I was little, I thought that was delivery had just been sold and was confused for a very long time. I, I mean, for a long time, uh, I thought Juice Box Heroes... I mean, it, well, there we go. <laughs> yep. Juice Enroll. Box Heroes, la friggin' da. Yeah. I mean, for the longest time, I didn't realize what the song meant. I was like, oh, it's a dirty mag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then it's like, kid, you need a life. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he stashed it in a log somewhere. Eh, maybe. Not the pouring log! That's... <laughs> And then it was stolen by some strange fox guy. So Mercedes, I, if we haven't met her already, we're going to. We're going to meet a car? I can't remember if she was part of somebody's main quest or if she's part of a side quest. Oh, if, it's, if she's part of the main quest, we have met her. And if so, it was quite a while ago, which is why I don't remember. But she is actually, um... Like, she is a m main character in somebody's storyline, and it's just another way to kind of tie them together. Ruminating like a cow. I can't believe you ate an entire cow. I should not do. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you almost got you almost got hit by the game I... there. Hey. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They'll never know. <laughs> They'll never I, I know. Love... I ain't saying a word about that one. I love how everyone's like deliver your own le letters. That is a good wisdom. <laughs> yes, it is. I know we've been to this town, but I don't remember this song at all. Weird. I don't know why, but I'm thinking Christmas music with this one. It hey, kind of does sound like something Mannheim Steamroller would make. Hmm, yeah. Okay, now I remember this one. I had to hit the I, right note. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, I'm feeling left out of this one. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, there's a hole over there. Dueling ocarinas. <laughs> and a kazoo. <laughs> and a kazoo. Yeah. We are going to be the best band. <laughs> yep. if, if I ever play a bard, it, well, if I ever play a bard again with my in-person D&D group, I may bring the ocarina with me. Usually oh, when I roll performance, I burst into song, but I may just annoy the hell out of everybody with Mish Ocarina. But you That'll have a do nice it. voice. Lantern sings. I do kind of want to do the frog lullaby as a bard sometime. Hi, 
I officiated a wedding once. There were no, there was no blowing off of candles. Um, actually, Tony's Tony's description of him walking up the aisle was kind of hilarious because, like, um, they they had some video game music playing. I can't remember what game though. And um, so Tony is walking up the aisle. Dramatic music is playing. The wind is blowing, and there he sees Lantern in his wizard outfit. And the thought that came to Tony's mind was, "Oh shit, I'm about to have a boss fight." <laughs> <laughs> How dare you describe yourself that hot? Hey. Considering what we talked about a while back, it may happen again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My my favorite part of officiating the wedding was um, but because it was such a weird wedding um. If if any of you object to this union, sit your ass down. You don't get a goddamn speaking part in this play. Because, because by that point, they'd technically been married for, like, at least... Like... I can't remember if it was six months or a year and a half, because time is screwed up. But, but they'd technically been married for a while. We were just having the ceremony to... Uh -huh. So that Ginny could finally use the dress and the venue. <laughs> and here we go. The next one. Heart of a Maiden. Oh no. Oh Where no. They're going to try to make Cyrus learn something. Oh no. Oh, no. Is she giving him dating advice? Yes. Why would you do this? We all know his love is learning. Yep. <laughs> He's at least prescient enough to understand that much. Therian, why do you have popcorn? <laughs> it's mouse bacon flavored. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, they're gay. Yeah, not the first group, not the last one. Yeah. yeah. So, sometimes you do just have entire conversations through eye contact. Yep. Yeah. Such as, such as like me looking at that cop the one time and being like, "I have nothing to do with this. I'm so sorry," and him just being like, "I didn't see anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away because this is stupid." All this time I was flirting with people? <laughs> Apparently. <clears throat> so we're going to have to teach Cyrus and Therian the fusion dance. Got it. Yeah, that that might help. <laughs> 